Okay, prove that if n is a composite number, then zn has non-zero elements a and b such that a times b is equivalent to zero on zn. So first let n be a composite number, and uh, that means n is a times b. There exists two a, uh, an a and a b that's in z where a and b are not, are not zero. So, you know, for example, let's, let's make n b six then a could be 2 and b could be 3, where a times b is equal to 6, right? Because 2 times 3 equals 6. Okay, so then since n is equivalent to 0 on zn, that's like by definition, uh, and n equals a, b by definition, since n is a composite number and... and uh, a and b multiplied by each other is, is equal to n. Then also, uh, a times b is equivalent to 0 on zn. Uh, all right, so, and then again, we could see that um, 2 times 3 is equivalent to 0 in z6. Um, 